I truly believe that presenting is a superpower. There are innumerable benefits from being able to give a speech, talk, lesson, pitch. Today, we're going to talk about what they are. Let's go. Hello friends, it's Matt Brunton here in the north of England and today we're going to talk about why you should learn to present. Yes, you, or at least learn to get better at presenting like I'm trying to do. So I'm going to give you seven reasons why. Here we go. Number one, we're all presenters now. It used to be quite rare that you would have to present, you'd have to speak in public, you'd have to give some sort of a, a talk, maybe in a job interview, maybe that occasional wedding speech, scary stuff. But now we're all presenters, we're on camera in video conferences, we're on social media. Perhaps you want to take that further, maybe you want to vlog or host a webinar, maybe pitch to investors, that startup idea. Being a better presenter is part of life now. It's something that we struggle to get away from. So if we're all doing it, it makes sense to get better at it. Number two, to build your confidence. Now, I'm not going to go on about how public speaking is the number one fear and all that kind of thing because it's boring. But if you have fear in a certain area, being able to not have that fear anymore, being able to be confident will bring that confidence into other areas of your life. You're not scared in that room, in that meeting, that somebody's going to pick on you, that someone's going to call you up, that that opportunity is going to come across you. And confidence often bleeds into other areas of our life. And nervous presenters just make people feel awkward. You know, they have all these weird ticks and these weird uh-huh and comments and actions and it's really awkward. And we don't want to be in that room. So being able to just be calm, have your chest out, your shoulders back and speak clearly just puts everyone else at ease. Build your confidence. Number three, to inspire. Now, you don't have to be Winston Churchill or Shakespeare's Henry V, you know, leading people into battle. But being able to inspire people with your words is an incredibly valuable leadership skill. So if that's your aspiration, you want to lead in an organization or build a company, this is a great tool to have in your locker. Think of somebody like Steve Jobs. When he got up on stage and presented, we were inspired. We were compelled by his vision of the future. And that is a key thing for any leader. Number four, to persuade. Presenting is influencing, a tool to affect the change that you want to see. Now, I think most tools are amoral. They're neither bad or good. And I know that speeches in particular, we think of political speeches, have been used to influence people to negative conclusions, but it's just a tool. It's how we use it. If I give you a hammer, you can walk around smashing up glass bus shelters or you can use it to build a home for your family. You might need a bit more than a hammer, but you get the point. It's a tool. The tool of being able to persuade towards good, towards ethical, towards healthy behavior is a really valuable tool. Number five, to educate. Now, when we think about a presenter educating, it's easy to think about the school teacher in my day at the front of the classroom with their back to the students just getting covered in chalk whilst writing furiously on the board. But there's a lot more to educational presenting than that. If you're able to communicate clearly, you become really valuable in your workplace. You're able to take on res more responsibility. You're able to manage others. And there's a lot of opportunities that come with education. When you teach, you position yourself as an authority. Number six, opportunity. Good presenters get many opportunities that less accomplished communicators or shy people do not. Imagine the opportunities that would open up to you if you would present regularly, if you would present confidently. People in your industry might see you presenting, could be online, it could be at conferences and events they go to, and you start to become an authority on a subject. In fact, because of all the reasons I've listed above, if you can persuade, if you can educate, if you can inspire, opportunities will come to you in your life, in your career. And finally, number seven, the halo effect. This means that if you're good at one thing, people automatically assume that you're good at others. Presenting is a particularly strong example of this because you have to be confident and articulate. People assume that you've got things together and that there's a depth of knowledge behind it. We see this particularly in politicians. It's usually the best communicators that get elected, but 
what is the job of a politician, really? There's organization, logistics, economics, emotional intelligence, management. These are the skills you need. But a lot of the time, it's the communicators, the great speech makers who win. It doesn't mean they're necessarily good at the job. And they have that halo effect. Well, they spoke really clearly. They must be good. But we see somebody in a debate stuttering over the words and they think, no, no, they can't run the country. Whereas actually, they might be a fantastic manager. They might have great insight. They might have a brilliant vision. So make this work for you. Instead of railing against that, improve your presenting skills and let people see your strengths through that. That is why you should learn to present. And if you're interested in developing your presenting skills, then I want to help you with unboring your presentation, which is the title of my new course on Skillshare. It's all about how to make your public speaking more memorable and engaging. If you're interested in that, there's a link to a free trial of Skillshare. So you can do this course for free down in the description. I'd also love to do some more content on presenting on this channel. So if that's for you, let me know and subscribe so you can see more of it. Look forward to talking to you soon.